Welcome to the fucking show. Welcome to the show. Have a seat, my nigga. Recline back. You know what I'm saying? Talent, especially you being African American. Right, but see, now see, once again, I, I, I'm not gonna say I disagree because I do agree, but I feel like our talents are exploited. You feel me? For so, sure. so I feel like it wasn't that they didn't know he had the talent. It's just that they couldn't exploit it at that time. And even now. I mean, he's a billionaire because he had the easy. He had to start that shit on his own. That's his own shit. Like, yeah. all right, I got my own shit. I got my own manufacturing company. You know what I mean? So he, he just, in my opinion, I, I, I don't know. I'm like I said, I watched the rest of it, but uh, genius. The only thing that I can say is genius that he's done, in my opinion, and this is recently, is this nigga putting his album on the fucking stem players. Have you seen that? Yeah. yeah. Like, nigga, you want the Donda album, you got to pay $200. Now, you're going to get this stem player that's with a, it, though. That's what I'm saying. What I'm just saying. It reminds me of the church thing <laughs> where dude was selling two drumsticks for $50. Oh, what? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. I never heard that two drumsticks for $50. Man, a chicken you, or drumsticks that you play? No, like for chicken. Oh, hell no. Who would eat? They was, they was paying that, bro. Oh, hell Man, no. They was like, they had stuff for sale. That was like priced obscene. Man, he made so much bread off of that shirt thing. Was so crazy. Wow. Well, I mean, I'm maybe. not even mad. No, I'm not mad either because it's it's because like I was about to say, at least you're getting a stem player with it. It's not like he's like two hundred dollars for my album and it's just the fucking audio, nigga. He's giving you some type of technology with the shit, and it's, from what I understand, it's some new type of technology that. It's some new shit. Like yeah. you, can, you can listen to the instrumental. You can take vocals out. You can take all. Uh, Cause I we did a, we did an episode on the shit when it first came out. Cause he, the stem player's been out, been out since his last album. Mm -hmm. So now he like nigga, his shit ain't going on iTunes or none of that shit. And that's why he priced that shit at two hundred dollars. Cause he like, if you want to hear this shit, you gonna pay for that shit. But he didn't already sold one point eight billion. He didn't already sold. I think in twenty four hours, that nigga sold one point eight. Jesus. Yeah. So, so it's it's. It, it, so he's good, like, <laughs> like off of those, off of those numbers by itself, he's good. And I think he's, I think that ain't even, that ain't even like a hundred thousand players. That ain't even like ten thousand players. That might be like five thousand players. That's not even, you know what I mean? Like, so he's definitely genius. There's definitely some genius in there. And I mean, I guess, you know, I don't look at his music as being genius, but the things that you do, you know what I'm saying, with your life, in my opinion, like this, really is genius. You know what I mean? Moves. You know, like, he personally on the music side, I, I, I haven't, I think after 808 and Heartbreak is when I, like, kind of just was like, uh. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So, like, on the music side, not really a genius on the music side, but a genius, like you say, in in conceptual and in, in business and, you know, trying yeah. to be innovative. You know what I'm saying? But even some of that shit, I was like, because even when he dropped with that shit that looked like homeless clothes and shit, even the boots that he's wearing now, the big ass rubber boots that he's wearing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit be like, come on, Kanye, but motherfuckers gonna buy it. Because it's him. Right, because he has that influence and he has yeah, that. That's you know the, and I mean? that's the thing, it's like, you know, the general public is so easily influenced, man. And him, him. His whole movement is like a testament to that. Y'all mind these ugly ass boots, <laughs> ugly ass shoes, <laughs> ugly ass foam runners, fake ass Crocs that he put out, and niggas is buying them, and people buying are buying them, bro. And unfortunately, like I say, niggas is buying them. Brothers hey, and some of them uses look dope, though. Some of them do. I'm not a big, I, I don't like none of them, man. They all look the same to me. But, you know, I digress. But the point is that y'all got <laughs> these unusual looking joints. And it's, I'm dripping. It's like, are you though? Just because he got on Yeezys, you dripping. That's how they look at it. You yeah. Know what I mean? Just because like, you know, back in the day, your drip was because it actually looked good. You can wear, you can have drip and not on have and have on nothing name brand. If you if you look good in the shit that you wear and people compliment you, I get more compliments when I'm in a suit, even though the suit is Ralph Lauren. But still, I don't know my <laughs> suit is Ralph Lauren. You know what right. I mean? So, you know, you get more, I get more compliments than anything when I'm in a suit. And don't nobody know what kind of suit that is. They just know a nigga look good. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's it. So Clean up real good. Right. Like clean up nice. You know what I mean? So that's really, like you say, it's not about what, it's not about what you wear. It's about how you wear it. Yeah, man. but that's the thing, you know, we, but it's been a minute, you know, people, you know, come up with the phrase popping tags. Well, you know, that's, uh. Speaking of that. And we spend the most money, bro. Black people, we are. Right now, I just seen the. Speaking of that, I've got to talk bro. about that Jim Jones incident, yo. 
Oh yeah, that was that was goofy, man. You were, was, you were getting on but here. But Jim Jones is a goofy nigga, man. You get on here complaining that the black people in the white store wasn't giving you proper service after spending thirty eight bands. That's why he's a capo. That's why you'll never be the boss. <laughs> Cause you do shit like that, nigga. That's why he's always been the capo. He's always been the second, the second nigga. Because you make bad decisions. <laughs> why, would you, why would you publicize that, bro? And then he still spent the money though. That's what killed him. <laughs> he still spent the money, nigga. How retarded is that? You now, like kept the money. Now don't get it twisted. The next day, all right, or like maybe a couple days later, I see the nigga on his Instagram. With some shit on them, talking about, yeah, this is a black designer, this black, this so and so, this a black designer, this a black designer. Why are you doing that now? You just spent 30, 34 or however much you just spent in Gucci. Gucci. Band, Gucci. Now you want to come and talk about, oh, and I think he's supposed to even, I, I, I think he might even be starting like a little podcast for the shit. Like a little, you know, where he's he's wearing, you know, um, black designers and shit like that and, and, and promoting them. So, you know, I sent that nigga, whoo, I was like, Black Dollar Society, baby, you know what I'm saying? The big bees, nigga. Right. What you trying to do? Right, rock that. I got stuff, <laughs> I got stuff for you, Jimmy. Support. On the you low side, come on, shoot through. Right, but, if you're going to do that. Right, that's what you're doing. It needs an exclusive. Right. But, um, so, yeah, so I did see him doing that, but, yeah, that, I, 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 I really, you know, when I seen that shit, I was pretty but, disgusted. But, you too. know, a while back, he was the same guy that said that the FUBU's in the, in the, in the state properties and whatnot, what are not costs from the uh, white designers. Oh, oh shit, I don't know. Yeah, he was, he was like, man, people up, people up town wasn't wearing that. That was for middle America. I was like, food boy shit? Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. like, huh? It was called for us bodies, nigga. What is you talking about? Like, but I mean, again, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what We used to wear that shit. What are you talking about? I, niggas wore food boo. had the game on lock. Right, the fuck you talking about? It was for us bodies. Niggas was fucking with food boo, like. Everywhere. Fubu sweaters, Fubu nigga. Like, LL Cool J. What's from Queens? Man, listen. You know, but you know, that ain't uptown. That ain't Harlem. He like, man, we know Harlem niggas wasn't doing this. Like, bruh. But, you know. Right. I don't like the way the nigga tried to take the VL with Vamp Life. Nigga, come on, man. Now Vamp Life, VL, supposed to be like Louis Vuitton, but it's VL, so it's not LV, it's V. Nigga, cut it out. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, you know, it's dope. You got a black owned company, black owned Vamp Life, whatever. Who, who the fuck wants to be a vampire, nigga? Who, <laughs> where that come from? That came from middle America, nigga. You want to talk about it? That's some white people shit. Vampires. Black people like vampires. Fuck out of here so with that shit. So basically you're a bloodsucker. Basically, that's what you want to be. A vampire who stays up at night and sucks blood. Like, fuck out of here. Vamp like these nuts, nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, nigga. Man. Vamp life. Fuck out of here. But yeah, that was, that was corny. That was corny as fucking... You know, and but that's why these designers stay shitting on us because they can shit on us, and, and we'll still come back the next day and spend bands. They know yeah. the Jim. They know that Jim Jones is out there. No matter what they say, right. Jimmy gonna come in and spend a couple. He gonna spend at least thirty k. Okay, yeah, for that drip. For that drip, just so he can say he's wearing it, and it's like, right. Man. Speaking of which, Kanye actually made a song about. <laughs> I made a song about every goddamn thing. Right, One thing that I can say though that I do that I do look at in, in the documentary that you'll check out is his relationship with his mom. Like his mom was dope. And one thing I can say about his mother is his mother really was was about what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like she knew his songs. You know what I mean? And I was just thinking to myself like, and actually it was a post about it too. But I was just thinking to myself like, how many how many mothers do that? You know what I'm saying? How many mothers believe that their son can be, you know, the, the or, next or willing to um, producer? Or yeah, put the money behind the dream. Well, I don't even think she was putting no money behind it. He was out there getting it himself. But I'm quite sure she might have, you know, gave him a couple dollars here and there. Yeah. So let's keep it a buck. Yeah, you know, um, I mean, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you see your child have talent that's not sports related, you know, the sports related, oh, we're going to, you know. Right, exactly. Oh, yeah, we, oh, yeah. Well, Shoot, we have hoops. We gonna get him a basketball hoop and put it in the back. And yeah, we do all that for sports and athletics, about footballs and shit like that. But when it comes to a motherfucker wanting to be a singer or a rap, no, let's not say singer because we know singers they get love. <laughs> a rapper, shit, my nigga, you just you let's like, say he want to be an astrophysicist. You gonna spend a thousand dollars on that um, telescope, mom? Nope. Man, probably nope. if the nigga say if a black boy say he want to be an astrophysicist out of his mouth to his mama. I'm quite sure she gonna get whatever he needs to be <laughs> But okay, what, what I'm saying is that what, say? what I'm saying is from the community. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you, you got a black boy that can hoop. Well, 
community you need, side. He need, he need X amount of dollars to go to the AAU camp. They gonna sell them dinners. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying, but if, you know, you want the actual physicist. But see, you gotta look at that in the in the complete thing too, because even with that selling the dinners, you're like I'm selling dinners for my son, so he can go to be in the NBA or he can you know do whatever for the basketball. There's more people, black people who are gonna be like, oh shit, okay, I can do it because because we believe in basketball, because that's where we're from. But if you like, yo, I'm selling dinners so my son can be an astrophysicist, I'm like, bitch. You don't get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Astro what? I'm, like, trying to, I'm trying to get into man school. But they'll be like, man what school? is an astrophysicist? Get the fuck out. You can't even spell astrophysicist. What is an astrophysicist? These nuts. Right. What's, what, <laughs> what's going on here? No, I'm not buying it. Or just this. stuff that's like, nah, you know, if it's not if it's not like mainstream or entertainment related, you know, for real, we ain't even on it, which we need to really. Which is not, which is just. Be on it. Well, it's 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 unfortunate, but yeah, we we just got a lot of we got a lot of more we got a lot more growth and unity to do, man. And it's just a lot of work to do. It's gonna be it's gonna take a, it's gonna take generations, man. It's probably not gonna be until you know our kids, maybe after our kids, that you know they finally come to realization that this whole system is fucked up and it needs to be rebuilt from the bottom up and close this wealth gap so everybody can. So it can be less crime. So it can be, you know, less poverty. So it can be yeah. like, it's like they don't want less of that. They want more poverty. They want more people to be broke because we want all the money. We don't want nobody to have no money. It's just like, yo, whose fucking mentality is that? Why would you have a mentality like that? That you don't, that you want to have all the money. Like, Bill, get like, it kills me. And Tupac said this shit itself. It kills me that these motherfuckers, they have billions of dollars and there can still be world hunger. There can still be people out here homeless and shit. And you got all this money that you can literally cure Hunger, homelessness. Tomorrow. Right. But you, you won't. And, and you can cure it, and it still won't kill your pockets. Like, you can cure it, and you would make all that money back in about a week. Man, all that, all that good pub. Niggas will be buying your products forever. Bro, and they don't do it. They won't do it. That's crazy. You know, you, you know what? If, 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 if a Jeff Bezos was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and, 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 and drop me. Uh, 30, 30 billion for black reparations. Man, we buy Amazon. <laughs> Bro, Amazon would be our savior, nigga. Like, like Jeff Bezos could get whatever the fuck he wanted from the black. He would get all our votes. He would get everything from us. Like, right. because he would be the one who helped us fucking bridge the wealth gap. Like, you literally put us in a position. Even though it would be, it'd cost, it'd be like a trillion if he just said, you know what, I get 40 billion on it. Listen, screw it. It'll be. A, man, look, it's not even. I don't, I don't even. I don't know exactly how much it is. I don't even think it's in. Yeah, it's probably in the trillion. No, nah, it's like somebody. Somebody it's did a study where it's anywhere between fourteen to fifty trillion. Yeah, it's the. It was the black. Uh, the black uh, CEO, the old CEO, 